I've never felt what negative two outside feels like. So I'm gonna try it out. I'm in short sleeves, didn't think this out very well. Guys, look at those slippers. They're so cute. She lost the other one though. We won't talk about that. What are you doing? To Elsa? What is wrong? Good morning, landing crew. So today is the day that Liam gets his new special needs bed. And I will talk about that more. I'm gonna do a Q&A at the end for you guys to ask all of your questions. We are really excited. So they're gonna come here, they're gonna go downstairs and build it up. And Noah is going to be cooking pancakes again. Hey. You wanna say hi to everyone? Come on. <laughs> She's so cute. That's his little thing he slept on last night, but this is where his bed is going to go. We need to clean up a little bit. Isn't it amazing, like, no matter how many times you clean up, like, toddlers are just amazing at messing things up. I, I think that's kids all together, though. Noah is getting to cook pancakes again because last Friday we had to cancel because of Lex's fever, and so I made pancakes with him. If you saw that video, if not, I'll link it below. Lex's fever is still low grade, but he's on antibiotics. It's just an ear infection. I think they should be here soon. They said it takes about two hours to put the bed together, so I'm glad they do it for us. Guys, it is so cold outside. <laughs> What'd you get? Is it food? Yeah. <laughs> what's for dinner? Show them what's for dinner. Ooh, yay, I didn't want to cook anyway. <laughs> Alright, so they're done with Liam's bed. Right? <laughs> He's so excited. Now, I knew they were coming today, but I still, you know, I'm not on my A game this week, okay? So I forgot to go get him some bedding. So we'll do that later, bring you guys along with us. But that's it. He's like, what is this? It's a safety bed. So this is the mattress that came with it. It has like a protectant incontinent thing. <laughs> you like it? You can stand up at it. <sighs> oh, There's all kinds of different beds that you can get. We chose this one and I'll show it to you guys, but it's Beds by George, I think. And this is all real oak wood, which is why we went with them. So I've heard amazing things about them. <sighs> yeah, this is what it looks like from afar. So Liam is a climber, that's why he kept getting out of his crib. He would never sleep in his crib hardly. This is on wheels, it moves. This is a canopy that you can get. So there was a mesh bed that we were gonna go with, but it was this material. So if Liam poop smeared, that would have been horrible. I'm so glad I didn't get that now. So basically, he can't climb out. So it has the mesh, so as he gets older, yeah, you like it? It grows with him. So during the day, we're gonna leave it completely up. Like, just let him climb in it as he needs to, because even with this side open, it still has a sense of security, which Liam seems to love. And we're going to actually be putting that baby monitor in here. We already have a camera, and I'll link these below for anyone that wants to use those. But we have this for the room, so that's gonna go in his bed, so we can see what this little guy is doing at all times. What are you talking about? All right, so at night, this is what we would do. Move those fingers. <sighs> so this is only for at night. This is just to keep him safe. Again, I'm going to talk at the end of the video why we need this, what this provides us. It is really, 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 really heavy though. Whew. During the day, this would just be his little camp out and he seems to like it. So we'll have to go get you a dinosaur bed, right? <laughs> It's just funny because like, this is his bed guys. This is his bed. This is Nellie's. <laughs> there has been some questions if Nellie would need one and I really can't answer that. I hope not. 
um, because I don't know how two of them would fit in here. I guess it could go over here, but we're just having our fingers crossed that this toddler bed works out for her. You like being able to stand up in it? Is that fun? <sighs> All right, guys, I'm gonna run a few errands and then go to Target to get Liam his bedding and Noah some eggnog. I also had to order Danielle some more hair stuff because we're redoing her hair this weekend. So I'm slowly getting better at it. I learned a lot of good lessons last time with her hair, so. Many, many minutes later. Guys, what a Friday, what a Friday. I go to get Liam sheets. I took the wrong debit card in, left the debit card that has the most money in the car. So I couldn't get everything. I got his comforter and that's it. So I guess we will be picking up the rest this weekend, whatever. I didn't love the sheet set. They didn't have the little dinosaur print in twin size. It was only full size. So I was kind of wrestling with the idea of with, I should just find another target that has it or to order online. So fate decided for me. All right guys, so Danielle worked really, really hard with her EOE cl clinical trial. They, <laughs> they actually pay her. Yes. And so she decided to use her money on some really cool Impala skates. Look at that. Cool. I want to test it out. No. <laughs> the next morning. This is so weird. So I'm like downstairs trying to get ready for the day, right? And Lex is downstairs with us too. And he goes, mom, I mean, he's playing on my bed, not doing anything. And then he just stops what he's doing. And he goes, mom, it's snowing. I looked in our like little escape hatch. There wasn't snow on the leaves. See, I told you it's snowing. Hey, what's up? Hey, are you still at Stop the store? Lex. Chill. Yeah. I wasn't planning on vlogging today. I was gonna vlog yesterday, but then I thought it'd be kind of fun to vlog today because it's snowing today. So that is what we're doing to finish up this vlog about Liam's bed. Lonnie had to go to Home Depot because right now the real fill is negative two. It's gonna get colder. Tomorrow's gonna be like 10 degrees colder, so. You guys know where I'm going with this. Lonnie works in the garage, so he is going to be making him a little tent to work in, and hopefully that's enough to keep it warm and comfortable for him. I got the rest of the stuff that Liam needed for his bed, so I'll show you guys that later too, and I'll answer all the questions like I said. Lex, what are you doing? Are you being sweet to her? Yeah. I just they boo her. She's an independent woman now. Yeah, we're right, right now behind her. Good job, Nellie. Liam's already up there like, I'm but, ready to go, guys. But what happens I hold Nellie? You, if you held Nellie and go up the stairs, you'd probably drop her and she'd get hurt. I'm not mean to, I'm, not, I'm not do that. I know you don't want to do that. Lex, let's put these on your feet so your feet don't get cold. All right, guys. I've never felt what negative two outside feels like. So I'm gonna try it out. I'm in short sleeves, didn't think this out very well. It's really cold. Open? Good job, open. Yeah, good. I don't think there's gonna be school or therapies tomorrow. Penelope! Hi! You're so cute. She seems a little bit more interested in the snow, which when last year, she could have cared less about the snow. It's starting to get light snow. So we were gonna flip the trampoline, as a lot of people had suggested that, but it's a really big trampoline. It's 14 feet. It can hold up to 800 pounds, so. Fingers crossed it works out well. A ba boo Turn on this fireplace. It's, it's definitely chilly. Uh, <laughs> it's negative six outside. I cannot. How was that cold? Like a snow angel. made a snow angel. Many hours later. All right, guys. It's negative eleven outside. Update. Lots of snow, but. We're gonna put Liam's bed together. We got him like a little fleece blanket to go with his quilt. Got Penelope a fleece blanket and that way they can stay all warm. So his bed's all made up. It's gotta be super duper warm. She keeps like looking at it and trying to get in it. 
Do you want me to hold you? You just got yourself a new bed, remember? Uh, hi, Nellie. Hi. I think it's because they're so small that it's like such a big area for them. Hi, Liam. Hi. All right, Nellie. Your bed's over here. Are you ready? I mean, it stopped snowing for a little bit, but Lex has been trying to go outside all day long. <laughs> it is cold outside. This is Lonnie's setup. Whew, okay. All right, so this is it. And so that way when he turns on the heater, where's, where's the heater you the use? Bottom. Oh, in the bottom, okay. So when he turns on the heater. He's worked in like 20 degrees and it's not really an issue and that tent's not needed. But realistically, when he starts working in the morning, it's probably gonna be 15 below. All right guys, so I figured I would sit down with you and talk to you about Liam's bed as I haven't really talked a lot about it in detail. So basically it is a safety bed. Um, there are many type of different safety beds. A lot of people know the most common one, which is I think a sleep safe bed. The main function of it is safety, so that's all the same. Every child needs something different depending on their behavioral needs, their emotional needs, their medical needs. Also, every family is gonna have a different reason for needing this bed. So this is just our story. This is not everyone else's story. Liam does not have awareness of danger. When we lay him to sleep, most parents can just be like, oh, all is good. Liam wakes up five or six times during the middle of the night. And when he wakes up, again, no awareness of danger. I feel like he's at an age where he's figuring everything out. So we safety something and then we have to redo it a month later because now he's figured it out. He also has to share a room with Penelope. So that makes things a lot more difficult. And we realize around two and a half was when we were probably gonna need to get him a safety bed just for that reason because that's when he started like climbing on the crib and things like that. So the process for us to get the safety bed was a lot easier than most people have had to go through. I had an appointment with the developmental pediatrician for Liam and she immediately suggested it, wrote the referral and got the ball rolling. That was, I wanna say in July. So it's October now. So it took about three months. We might've started the process in June, maybe, possibly. Regardless, about three or four months, the hardest part of it was just like waiting for insurance and going back and forth, just making sure all the I's were dotted, T's were crossed. I'm going to answer all of your questions that you asked on Instagram. And we will kind of just get this, get this going. A lot of these questions are why does he need it? And basically it's just to keep him safe. It's to keep Penelope safe. So in the perfect world, we would like when he's a little bit older to be able to transition him off of this bed into just a regular twin size bed that is not a sleep safe bed. And then at that point, we would gift the bed to someone else, which I can't wait to do. I don't think he'll be in it forever because he really doesn't have any medical needs. All of his needs are just very behavioral, very awareness of danger. And I'm hoping as he gets older that that gets easier. So just for his safety, her safety for right now, they share room. It's the best arrangement in our house. I'm not wanting to change around room arrangements as there's not one that would work out like it does now. So for now, the safety bed at night is the most important thing for him we will only be enclosing him in at night we wake up at like 7 30 in the morning we will be taking it down before he's even awake so that hopefully when he he's waking up he's not waking up with it enclosed if that makes sense now some mornings he may buvardia blossom asks how much special needs bed differs from the regular one a regular bed you can just climb in and out of this basically um, is able to be enclosed. Some of them don't have the ceiling. So the canopy that he has, not everyone has that. We have that because Liam has a climbing issue. I don't know how long he's gonna need this. So we wanted something that could grow with Liam but also something that wasn't overboard as well. Oh, that's so funny. Becca asked that question next. Will this bed grow with him or will you have to get a bigger bed as he grows up? No, th this is a regular twin size bed. So he could be Noah's size and still be sleeping in this bed. Uh, the name of it is Beds by George. It is, I don't remember what model it was though, but it's Beds by George. Kelsey, little mama purple asked how I like the bed. I do like it a lot. This wasn't something I really wanted to do. It's still, Makes me feel a little bit uneasy, but we are hoping that we don't need it long term. I'm hoping that 
with time, we'll be able to phase him out of it. Just kind of like his communication device as well. Like, I'm hoping that he'll get words and he won't need it forever, right? Well, I'm hoping that he'll be able to have some awareness of danger and his sister and all of those things, and he won't need this forever. But if he does, it's there for him and it will grow with him. Oh, an update. We have, I don't know if I updated it or not, but we did order... We did order Liam's communication device, his his trial device, so that was really exciting. Um, Abby20 asked how expensive was it? Um, this was something our insurance paid for, so I don't know the exact price tag, but it was between like six to seven thousand dollars. They're definitely pricey. Lee William asked not to sound rude, but will he be able to get out himself or is he shut inside? He is shut inside. If he could get out himself, then it would defeat the whole purpose. If you guys want me to do a full tour of just the bed, I can do that. Just comment below. Because because I feel like Friday was a really crazy day. Like we were getting ready for this cold season that was starting. There was a lot going on. So if you want me to show it again in just a video and show just the functions, let me know. Andrea asks, how is Liam liking it? Also, does this give you a little sense of security for nighttime? It definitely does. It gives me a lot of sense of security. Liam loves it. Like he has not cried once when we shut him in. He can like fuss a little bit, but then he just walks around and plays. He can still see through the window, so he can still see everything that's going on. I think it's going to be an adjustment. I also think it's going to help him sleep too, because I think part of the issue is that no matter how much stuff we put up, we can't put up everything in his room. And so he wakes up and then he finds something to stimulate himself. I think this will definitely help him to hopefully get into a better, a better sleeping schedule. But yeah, it definitely does give me security because it's scary, guys. I mean, if you can think that you you have an almost three-year-old who doesn't have a sense of danger his sister's in there with him she's little she's one and he wakes up random times of the night and you will never know he usually doesn't cry when he wakes up the only way i know is because it alerts me when there's like motion it alerts me like with sounds and things like that we have the baby monitor in there too the matuska family this isn't about the bed but i'm going to answer it because it's special needs how do you handle meltdowns that last a long time in public i remove them i remove them if possible or we just find a safe place for them to kind of ride out the meltdown um, a lot of questions if i'm going to get it's Lex or Nelly a bed like this. As far as Lex, I don't feel like this bed would be something that Lex would use for long term, if at all. I did not think this Q&A was going to be so hard, but I'm trying to be so respectful of my children while also giving information out there. So I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to say for Lex, Lex's safety issues are different than Liam's safety issues. Would this benefit Lex? Yes, he would probably destroy the bed. I know they say it's it's a very durable bed, but I feel like he would just destroy it anyway. And the arrangement we have with Lex works out. We could not do that arrangement with Liam and it work out like it has with Lex and that's the best I can say without putting too too much information out there about my boys it is not a sleep safe bed it is different it's a different brand so why we chose to go with uh, beds by George and this is not any shade against anyone that's went with sleep safe beds or anything like that they are a great company as well but the specific bed we went with we chose them because they use actually real wood, oak wood and I actually had quite a few special needs families tell me that their beds fell apart and then they had a really hard time getting parts replaced whether that's true or not I don't know I wanted the bed white I wanted to see if they could paint it white but they couldn't so we're just going to keep it that natural oak wood color. It's different than Aiden's bed with the Killen clan. They have a sleep safe bed. It's the same principle though. If you were to put these beds side by side, they would for all intents and purposes look the same. I don't know if Aiden has a, can a canopy or not, but ours do. Oh, and the question about Penelope needing a safety bed. I don't know. She's too young to really know. When Liam was her age, I had no idea she that he would need a bed like this. For now, she doesn't really show any behaviors like that. She just kind of walks around and just does her thing like I was talking about. Doesn't really try to climb on things. Doesn't really try to get into stuff. But that's also because she's only 21 months. A year from now, it might be a different story. So we're just going to take it one step at a time. And hopefully she can stay in her toddler bed and then like stage into a regular one so i think that was all of the questions they they were basically the same question so i hope i hope that answered it again if you want me to do just a full tour of just the bet i can definitely do that i know this vlog wasn't as in-depth as I wanted, so feel free to comment if you'd like to see that more than was already shown in the video. And we will see you guys later. Where you move, make me blind. You 
always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be there. Heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind. Oh, oh, oh. Cause you will always be there.